Hello, everybody. <clears throat> Spoiler alert, uh, this is in response to the video that I published this morning about The Replicated Man. So if you haven't watched my video on The Replicated Man yet, go watch it first. I'm going to be talking a little bit about some of the unique game quirks of that particular quest. Because as we all know, Bethesda is pretty well known for their bugs and their games. Uh, but sometimes they do things... Like, the frustrating thing is that if you've got a reputation for having a lot of bugs in your games, then it's hard to tell whether or not something is supposed to happen or if it's supposed to be a bug. Uh, that's unfortunately the, the reputation that Bethesda has created for themselves. But in my video this morning, we discovered that Zimmer was a synth and that the wiki is wrong. <laughs> about many different things, and I'm going to show you really quickly why that's true. Hello, everybody in the chat. It's good to see all of you. Yes, this is a surprise stream. I didn't announce it. It's not a regular stream. I'm wanting to respond to many of the questions viewers have had in the comments section of this morning's video. Uh-oh. Sorry. I've got a backdraft wind. I'm pushing smoke under the house. All fixed. Let's see if it goes the right way. Or that way. That way. It's good enough. Okay, so here's the thing. Zimmer is a synth. I'm going to show you why. I'm going topside for a while. Here we are. Fallout 3. Let me reload a previous save, okay? So I've got hundreds of saves, as you can see. <laughs> and let's let's try this a number of different ways. Here's a save I made before turning in the quest. So I haven't sided with anybody yet, all right? Here we are in the bowels of Rivet City. And my character's got pretty decent stealth. I don't have my Chinese stealth armor on, but let's take a look at my... Sneak, 100. So. I'm watching you. Let's wait until we're no longer detected. Okay. We're hidden. This is Zimmer. Let's check his inventory. No android component. Here's why this is important. When we kill Zimmer, he drops an android component. And I'll show you how that works. Uh, briefly by going to talk with Harkness. Uh, so, as I showed off in my video this morning, if we have him killed by going to talk to Harkness, he drops an android component. Now in Fallout 4, one of the primary game uh, gameplay ways that they show whether or not a person is a synth is by if they can drop an android component, or a synth component or not. So, spoiler alert for Fallout 4, there are a number of synths in Fallout 4 that we only know that they are synths because they drop an, a synth component, including hey. Sturges and Magnolia. Okay, where's our Evening. Have a seat anywhere. Someone will be with you in a minute. Wait, I finished it? So that was the wrong save. Let me try a different save. Okay, I know. Okay, let's try here, all right? So this is just after confronting Pinkerton. First of all, let's go talk to Pinkerton. Oh no, it's gonna crash, yep. So, no, I have not figured out some magic way to keep Fallout 3 from crashing. I, I deal with it just like everybody else who's trying to run Fallout 3 on Windows 10. <laughs> so I haven't found some magic bullet that fixes it. That's just the nature of the game. Thankfully, it only crashes once every two or three game sessions, I guess. Okay. Anyway, I hope I haven't lost you. I know that this conversation is not going to make much, much sense, uh, much sense, unless you watched my previous video. NJL says I never realized Sturgis is a, is a synth. Yeah, 
He's a synth. If you kill him, he drops a synth component. Now, here's the thing. Um, the Fallout Wiki... So, I, 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 I explained why Zimmer was a synth. Because if we kill him, he drops an Android component. Now, the Fallout Wiki also says that other people in the game drop Android components, including Pinkerton. And that Harkness doesn't drop an Android component. There now, may be danger here. I took what the wiki said at face value, and so yesterday when I was producing today's video, I, I spent 30 minutes creating an elaborate, an elaborate conspiracy theory explaining why Pinkerton had an Android component and Harkness didn't. And it went like this. It went that Pinkerton was the real missing android. And that he wasn't hiding in the bowels of Rivet City because he hated Dr. Lee. He's hiding in the bowels of Rivet City because he's hiding from the Institute. He then went to Rivet City Security, aka Harkness, saying you need to protect me, and Harkness agreed. So, Harkness is pretending to be the android when Zimmer arrives all in an elaborate attempt to protect Pinkerton. This can even be explained by the words that he says. Pinkerton knows full well about the reset code and the, um, the recall code because he's, a, he's an institute courser, right? So he could have simply gone to Harkness and said, look, if someone from the institute comes looking for me, they're going to have a reset code, a factory reset code, and a recall code. Now, if you're going to pretend to be a real synth, you got to act like it when they use these codes. So if somebody uses a recall code, you need to pretend like you're getting a bunch of human memories. And if someone ever uses a reset code, you're going to have to pretend to be a malleable, complacent android. And you're going to have to follow them where they take you. And that is what could have happened. Harkness could have there pretended here. to have become, to have had his mind reset when Zimmer used the reset code, followed him out of the ship, and then killed him. That would explain why Zimmer never returned to the Institute. So yeah, I had developed this huge conspiracy theory, and I was going to put this in the video until I went to test it. And when I went to test it, this happened. And, and this go, goes to something that I think is really important when it comes to understanding the lore of these games. If it can't happen in the normal co course of everyday gameplay, then it's not lore. If you can't test it, if you can't reproduce it without cheating or hacking the engine or using a mod, then it's not part of the established game's lore. So here we are in Pinkerton's lab. Hey. I've got better things to do. Pinkerton is unconscious. He can't die. He's immortal. I've tried this by uninstalling mods. I've tried it before starting the quest, hey, after Where? starting the quest. It doesn't even matter. Pinkerton is immortal. He's still alive. So even if he does drop an android component, it doesn't matter. Because he cannot be killed within the normal circumstances of the game. Therefore, whether or not he has an android component, Hey there. Is irrelevant and it's not it's non-canon and it's not part of the lore. Right? Right. So honestly, I was pretty upset when I found this out. Because I thought I had really broken something, right? Yesterday I, I I come up with this theory about how how Pinkerton is really the android, and, and I, I thought it was a great theory, and I had it all recorded and ready to go, and then I tested Evening. it and I realized that it it I can't put that in the video. I can't put that in the video because there's no way. That's something that can only happen if you use console commands could be part of established lore. So I was a little bit bummed. Anyway. So let's reload that, that same save. Let's go confront Harkness. And let's go confront Pinkerton, okay? So we know that according to the lore of the game, Harkness is a synth. He's an android. So theoretically, he should drop an android component when we kill him. Well, let's find out what happens when we actually do. Oh, do I have to run all the way over there? I forgot about that. All right, hang tight. Got to run. Eulogy Jones is the real android. 
<laughs> Is he essential after the replicated man? No, 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 no. I just said that I tried before the quest, during the quest, and after the quest, and at no point is he set is is he not set to essential. So, I, I tr so I, I read a li I, I'll I'll even show it to you if you want me to show it to you. I'll show it to, I'll show it to you. But I loaded a save way back at the beginning of my gameplay on this character before I ever. Um, started the replicated man. It was back when I was doing the Wasteland Survival Guide quest, and I tried killing Pinkerton, and he did not die. So he was marked as essential even before starting replicated man. Because I mean, you are right. You, you, you're, you're, you're on the thread of something that could lead us. Like if we can kill him even before starting the quest, and he does drop an android component, then that is part of the lore of the game. It is testable. It is repeatable. And yes, at that point, we could say that Pinkerton is a synth. But no, at no point can we kill Pinkerton. Okay, here we are in Rivet City. And here's Harkness. Let's load a save. Well, let's quick save here. And then we can watch as Sharon just kills everybody. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Harkness is going to jump up here in a minute. There he goes. Because he can't God kill. Damn more. Keep so, firing. the only way to kill Harkness is using console commands. And if we were to use console commands to kill Harkness, we would discover that no, he doesn't have an Android component in his inventory. But that ultimately doesn't matter because that's not part of the normal gameplay. The, the normal part of the gameplay is that we just never find out. We never find out whether or not he has an Android component. We can only go by what the lore of the game is, and according to the lore of the game, the recall code works, and the reset code works. Uh, okay. So I'm, I'm getting on a roll here, and I'm ignoring chat. Luke says, Oxhorn, have you tried using the Lincoln Repeater? Um, no, I don't have that weapon yet. Is that... Is there a point to that? Like, why would using the Lincoln... Why would using Lincoln's Repeater to kill any of these guys matter? Uh, okay. Where's Victoria? Oh, there she don't is. Don't you have a component to deliver? So then there was the, uh, the then then here's another error that the wiki makes, and it's not really an error; it's just a different way of thinking it. The wiki says that Victoria wants has an Android component. Wants it. Wow. I've got your back. Oh come on! Do I really have to go downstairs? Her her ash pile fell between the cracks of this floor. Ah uh, crap! Could you please move? Oh my gosh! Dog meat and Harkins have been dri Ugh. and Sharon have been driving me crazy. What? Okay, there's there's her ash pal. Oh, here we go. That's why I'm no. glad I'm here. Is this Good blocked off? Me <clears> too. <throat> what? Welcome to Flack and Shrapnel's best goddamn weapons up anywhere. Okay. No Android component, right? The reason the wiki lists an Android component on Victoria Watt's body is because she gives us an Android component during the quest. So technically it is part of her inventory at some point because she gives it to you, but she doesn't drop a synth component. As you can see, there's no Android component on her body. So that's deceptive. I mean, if we were to just read the wiki and not test it in game, we would think that she drops an Android component that she's a synth, but she's not. This is why we have to test it. Okay, what was I doing? Uh, oh no, I'm stuck in this box. <laughs> Kyle says, what if Justin killed Zimmerman and made a synth version so Zimmerman listens to Justin only, so Justin is really the leader of the Bureau? I mean, there are any number of reasons how we could explain why Zimmerman is a synth. That's one of them. I mean, maybe it really is that Justin wanted to control the SRB, and so he created a synth that looked just like Zimmerman to replace Zimmerman so that uh, he could be, be, be uh, ordered around. I mean, that's a, that's a perfectly logical uh, supposition. Okay. Zimmerman. Hey there. Hey there. Everything looks okay here. Oh my gosh. I I have been loving my Rivet City series, but they talk so much. Every single NPC in this entire place, they just talk so much. It's a lot of banter. Hey there. 
Okay, uh, here we are again with Zimmer. Let's what go do ahead you think and you're doing? Pickpocket it. Uh, wait till we're not detected. No Android component, but we know he drops one when he dies. We know that Armitage is an Android, right? No Android component. So the Android component is specifically developed. It, it's it's specifically up. built um, to only be detectable once the once the synth dies in Hello. Fallout 3, which is just the way it's supposed to work in Fallout what else 4. Do you want to so let's go turn in Zimmer and then have Harkness kill him because I don't believe we can kill him. I believe he is set to immortal. What else do you want from me? Where? Help me. Yeah, they're both set to be immortal unless Harkness gives us permission. Sharon is just he's just he's mad. Can't stand the sight of your own blood. Sharon is in, is intense. I love him. I'm out of here. Where? Bring <laughs> it. Sharon's shotgun is amazing. I love it. Anyway, uh, yeah, so there you go. Uh, he's They're set to immortal. Unless Harkness gives us permission to kill them, we can't. Unless Harkness kills them himself, he doesn't die. So let's go get permission from Harkness to go kill him, okay? Hey. I'm looking for troublemakers, have you seen any? <laughs> Salman Kun says, I'm so confused. Uh, I don't want this to be confusing. If you have any questions, let me know. I've got Fallout hey. 3 loaded up here. I'll play through anything you want. Let's get this answered, right? I'm a little busy right now. All right, let's uh, tell him that he's a robot. Uh, let's give him the audio testimony. Tell him that it's not real blood. Use the recall code. Ah! Recall code is over. Uh, then let's get permission to go kill him. Actually, I was hoping you would like me, let me kill him. Hmm. He gives us permission. He gives us the rifle. Thanks for the help. And he can go. First, now that we've completed the quest, let's see if we can kill him. Nope. Even after completing the quest, we cannot loot his. Uh, we cannot kill him, nor loot his inventory. So. Glad we tested that. All right, now let's uh, go back to Zimmer. Sergeant Shamrock says, do 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 Thank you, good sir. Good to see you. Okay. Now we have permission. We should be able to shoot them. No! Look out! Sure enough, we're on the bodies. Android component. Android component. He's a sin. I just there's no other way to explain this. We can't pickpocket it off his inventory, so there's no way he was just carrying one in his pocket. It only drops when he dies, which means we only find it if his head explodes and it falls out because it's stored in his head because he's a sin. There's no other explanation. All right, now, I do have another video to get to, but while I'm here, if anyone has any questions about this, if you still think I'm wrong, if the my video this morning didn't make sense, let me know, I'm, I'm here in Rivet City, let's get this answered, all right? I'm gonna move on over to your questions. Have you tried killing Pinkerton before any quest needing him? Yes, let's try that. Let's reload a previous save. Let's go to... Oh, this is going to take a lot of gameplay, though. I'm going to have to... $10. Thank you. Thank you, Zomuch. Zomuch? Let's try it. Um... Okay, I'll put that... It was just after the Republic of Day. Ninth Circle, Ducops Place. Here we are. Rivet City. So, 
In this part of my gameplay, I'm I'm recording footage for the video. You got to shoot him in the head. That quest sends me to Rivet City to get to talk to a guy named Please. Ted. That so quest thirsty. has nothing to do with Pinkerton in any way. So as you can see, I haven't even extended the drawbridge yet. I've never been to Rivet City. Let's try. Please. Oh, I'm gonna die if I jump from there one oh. time. Good to see you. All right. This character's really weak, though. She's really young. Okay, let's fight through the Mirelurks. Let's get to Pinkerton before any quest and see if he's still immortal. Please, what? Oh. How many times did I say? Two, two or three times per playthrough? So yeah, you can only imagine how many times I had to crash to produce an, an hour and 12 minute long video like I did. Oh, and I gotta pick it again. Circle. Almost there. Rivet City. Let's quick save after this. Quick try. Oh! Okay. I'm gonna toggle God Mode. Just so that I can get there. Okay? Because this character is only level 2 or 3 or something like that. And I want to get there so that we can prove this thing about Pinkerton. So... Please don't hit on me for cheating. I don't do this normally, but I have to right now just to get to the point. To round it to 10 pounds. You missed my last three super chats though. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I, it's hard for me to keep track of everything. Damien says, I just got on. What's going on? Well, I'll try to explain it again really quickly. All right, scrolling up, scrolling up, scrolling up. Uh, look, I'm sorry. If I miss your super chats, I, I, it's not because I'm ignoring you. There are just... Dozens of people watching, all of them are commenting, and I'm trying to play a game, so it's, it's hard for me to, to pay attention to everything. Nicholas says, you're the best. Zomok says, hey, Oxford, long-time fan. Greetings from Switzerland. We have actual bunkers in our houses, so I'm ready for the apocalypse. It used to be that way here, too. I mean, it used to be that every home would have a fallout shelter, practically. Uh, so what we're doing right now is we're going through... Uh, did I just swim to the wrong side of the ship? Is it, on the, it is on the other side. So what I'm doing is I'm going through uh, fan questions right now regarding uh, the topic of my video this morning. So if you're just tuning into the program, I published a video this morning called The Replicated Man where we discovered a few things that people haven't, haven't really been talking about before, including the fact that Zimmer, the course, uh, that Zimmer is a courser from the SRB sent to retrieve synths from the Capital Wastelands. That's a plot written 10 years ago when the game was released in 2008. It's not a mod. That's the game. Um, now, people found that hard, some people found that hard to, be, to believe, and I proved it by showing that Zimmer has a synth component on his inventory, and even that was hard for people to believe, so I'm going through everyone's objections right now. One of the latest objections was uh, maybe Pinkerton only is, or maybe Pinkerton who, okay, so the other part is that Pinkerton, uh, Pinkerton drops a synth component if you kill him, but he's immortal, right? So people were saying, well, if he drops a synth component, then he must be, then he couldn't be a synth. I'm out of here. Well, I guess it was nothing. Yeah, Cherry is a useless temporary component. Uh... Keep going up. The electricity on my sword ignited the fire. Why is that girl following you? She's part of the gotta shoot him in the head quest. Uh, when you go to Dukov's place, you find that he's practically got two prostitutes living with him. And uh, one of them wants to be rescued. Her name is Sherry. 
and you can rescue her by taking her to Rivet City. So she's following me right now. That's why I came here originally. Um, but we are now going to go into Pinkerton's lab and kill him. All right, so this is... What? Oh. <laughs> so this is before the Wasteland Survival Guide, and it's before the Replicated Man. We're meeting Pinkerton for the first time. He's just some hobo in a ship at hey. this point. This is hopeless. He's still set to essential. We can't kill him. He's a mortal. <laughs> now it looks like I've hanged him. Oh, no, Pinkerton. You okay? How the hell did you get in here? I suppose you can't be all that bad if you made it this far without dying. <laughs> this is the part where you tell me... All right, all right. So we, so he's immortal. Corrupted Protectron says use console commands to kill Pinkerton. No, that defeats the entire purpose. Using anything that we normally can't have access to in our normal game through doesn't tell us anything about lore. And this is what I was trying to explain earlier and in some of the comments I left in the video. Um, it's, not, it's not canonical if it only happens if we cheat to make it happen, right? If we use some sort of code, if we use a console command, if we manipulate the game in any way other than it was intended to be manipulated uh, by the developers of the game, then, then that's not some canonical lore that they wrote. That's an exploit that we were able to produce on our own. So we, we're, in, in effect, creating our own story at that point, right? So, Pinkerton cannot be killed. He may have a synth component, he may not, but in terms of what we can discover from normal gameplay, we'll never know. Do you think that his essential status could be mislabeling? Maybe uh, Bethesda intended for him to be a synth, uh, says the Lion Sin Pride of Escanar. Uh, maybe he did, maybe they did, but uh, we really don't know. We can only go by what we find in the game. And what we find is a guy who's, who is immortal. He is set to essential both before, during, and after the replicated man quests. We cannot kill him without using console commands. That's the reality that we find. So what they intended doesn't matter. What we find is what we have to deal with. Pickpocket? Sure. Let's try pickpocketing him. What the hell you are doing bothering? I gotta go now. Uh, how is this gonna work? There we go. Nothing. Wow. He's really in an awkward spot, isn't he? Alright, anything else? Zimmer murdered by Justin Io in Rivet City is fake. I mean, I agree. We don't know if, if that happened. That's a complete fan theory, and we can't prove it. <clears throat> That random guy. I've killed Pinkerton before. In order to do this, you have to complete every quest that is tied to him. The Replicated Man and the Wasteland Survival Guide. And another quest. I've completed the Replicated Man. I've completed Wasteland Survival Guide. Though, are there any other quests? Is he involved in Broken Steel? That might be the mistake that I'm making. Is he involved in Broken Steel? Hmm. No. That's it. He's only involved in the Replicated Man and the Wasteland Survival Guide. That's it. So that can't be the explanation. It can't be that he's involved in some other quest that we haven't done yet. He's only involved in those two quests. I've already done videos on both of those quests. We tried killing him after I completed those quests, so that can't be it. Why isn't this mentioned in Fallout 4? It is mentioned in Fallout 4. And as I discussed in my video, so watch my Replicated Man video this morning. I, I, I record and show all of the footage where Dr. Zimmer 
is mentioned in Fallout 4. Now, this particular event isn't referred to in Fallout 4. We don't learn anything about the real synth that was sent here or that, that escaped and came here, um, but Zimmer himself is referred to. How is Zimmer old? He can't age if he's a synth. How is uh, Diamond City's mayor fat? If, as we learn in the Institute, synths can't get fat. It's because the Institute uh, hand-tailored these synths to look and act the way that they are. Right? So the mayor of Diamond City, Mayor McDonough, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, sorry, he's a synth. Right? Shouldn't be a spoiler. We learned that <laughs> Piper's claiming it from the very beginning. But he's a synth. But we already know from Fallout 4 that synths can't age and they can't get fat. But Mayor McDonough is fat. He's, he was hand-tailored for that particular environment. So what the Institute does is when they need to infiltrate a particular place, they're going to craft a synth to look like the person they're trying to replace. So, um, oh, what's his name? Warwick. The Warwick Homestead guy was a real man whom the Institute kidnapped and replaced with a synth that looked just like him. Now, in that instance, he happened to be an adult man, but if Warwick ha had been fat, they would have had to make their synth replacement fat. When they killed the original mayor of Diamond City, the, the original Mayor McDonough, Hancock's brother, was fat. So they had to make a synth who was fat to replace him. Likewise, it's just, it's just as easy for them to make an old synth. Now, the synth can't get any more old because synths don't age, but they could make a synth who was old from the beginning. D-Bad says, what does Zimmer's key unlock? I'm assuming it unlocks uh, his hotel room or the locker in his hotel room. But in this particular uh, city, a lot of these characters have keys that don't go anywhere. It's just the nature of this city. It's really weird. Skya says, why so many alt tabs? My RAM hurts just looking at it. Uh, yeah, that's nothing. I've got three different browsers open. <laughs> and each of them has dozens of tabs open because I do a lot of alt tabbing when I'm trying to do research on a video, so. Any other questions? There is a random sentry bot guarding the Citadel alongside Paladin Bale, who is marked as essential. Yeah, I mean, Bethesda does make these essential NPC uh, NPCs decisions pretty... Um, sometimes it doesn't make sense, and, and we don't really understand their reasonings for doing so. Maybe they wanted to do that on purpose so that you couldn't invade the Citadel. Maybe they wanted the headquarters of the Brotherhood of Steel to really feel impenetrable. Clark says, could it be an implant like Kellogg? I mean, it could, but it's called a, an Android component. And we already know from the lore of the game that Android and Synth are inter interchangeable. So it's called a Synth component in the game, just like the synth component we find in Fallout 4. And I believe that that was um, on purpose. I mean, Bethesda isn't going to go and name this synth component in Fallout 4 something, uh, something similar to what we find in Fallout 3 if it didn't have a purpose. Their purpose was to connect the two ideas. Harkness is a synth because he has an android or synth component. And yet we also find one on Zimmer. Also, Kellogg's implant is a very different sort of thing. It's much more like the implant that Dr. Zimmer gives us by completing the quest. That, uh, that perk we get is from an implant, a cybernetic implant that he performs on us, a surgery that he performs on us. That's more like Kellogg's implant, I think. Timo says, Pinkerton is set to be unkillable because he's the only character in the game that can be able to change your appearance. Yeah, I, I believe you're probably right. That's probably the reason why he is said to be unkillable. But the fact is that, that he is immortal. He's still immortal. Whatever reason that is for doesn't change the fact that he's still immortal, and we therefore can't understand whether or not he's a synth, because we can't kill him in the game without using cheats or console commands. Daniel J says, on the Wikipedia, it says that he drops a synth component. Well, the wiki is different from Wikipedia, but I, I addressed that at the beginning. The wiki is written by us. It's, it's not written by anyone from Bethesda. So we need to take what the wiki says with a grain of salt. That's why we have to test absolutely everything. I will often refer to the strategy guides or the wiki when producing my videos, but after I 
read something, I have to go into the game and test it to make sure it's accurate because the wiki is written by us, by fans who sometimes make mistakes. And while the wiki is normally a really reliable source of information about the Fallout games, sometimes we find mistakes on there. Like, uh, I did an entire video where I debunked a, a mistake that was made uh, about who created the Mr. Handy robots, uh, which was a fascinating video, I thought. So you could check that out. Uh, it's on my channel. And here's one where they're not really making a mistake, but it's not applicable to the conversation. So it may be that if you open up the creation kit or you find some other way to hack into the code of the game that we find on his loot table an Android component. That could very well be possible. But there's no way to know that without breaking the world of the game. But, and we're talking about lore. So if I were to do a video about how to create a Fallout game, and I'm talking about loot tables and injecting code and coding things, then yes, I would say Horace Pinkerton has a synth component on his inventory because that's what was written in the game. But we're not talking about the mechanics of how the game was developed. We're talking about the lore of this world. We're, we're talking about this as a world. And in this world, Pinkerton can't be killed and Harkness can't be killed, but Zimmer can. And of the three, the only one whom we know has a synth component on his inventory is Zimmer. Leoniden Nerd says, you encountered a bug, Oxhorn, in the vanilla game. You can kill him after both quests. I'm getting that a lot, so maybe I've made a mistake. Let's... Okay. I've got his rifle, okay? A321's plasma rifle. Let's go to the quest, make sure that I've completed the replicated man. Then let's make sure that I completed Wasteland Survival Guide. Wasteland Survival Guide, okay. I've completed both quests. Let's try this again. Alley -oop. <laughs> One thing I've learned from, from uh, doing this channel is that if enough people say it in the comments, I would be a fool to ignore it. Um, and a lot of you are saying that Pinkerton can be killed. So... Try it. I've just shown you that it's after both quests. I've got the quest rewards in my inventory. He's a synth. I mean, we can only con we must we must conclude that he is a synth now, without using any cheats, without using any console commands. By following the natural perimeters of this game, we've discovered that he's a synth. Maybe my theory was correct that I described earlier. Maybe that's true. Maybe he is the real runaway synth. Where's my mouse? Holy cow, guys. <laughs> How many times did I have to kill him on this broadcast before we finally found a way to kill him and get the synth component? He's a synth. Holy cow. Okay. Well, okay. What we have to make a we have to make a decision only based on the evidence. 
What's the evidence? The evidence is that Zimmer is a synth. Pinkerton is a synth. We don't know about Harkness. Maybe you guys know something I don't know. Is there a way to kill Harkness? I tried killing Harkness before, during, and after the quest. I know I did, because that was the central pivoting point about the argument. Like, I, I, I described an entire scenario where Horace Pinkerton was the original synth, and he talked with Harkness from the, uh, from the Rivet City security to protect him, that this entire thing was an elaborate ruse to protect Horace Pinkerton the real escape synth who's been hiding in the broken bow of Rivet City for all of these years. That's the entire thing. plan. And the only way I, I didn't, the only reason that I didn't talk about that in my video this morning is because you couldn't kill Harkness. But we, we also come up with another problem. If Horace Pinkerton is the synth Who performed the surgery? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. If Horace Pinkerton is the synth, there wouldn't have needed to be become cautious. a surgery. There, there would not, never have needed to be a surgery. Maybe he's been hiding out in the broken bow of the, si the ship, having never had his memory wiped, and having never had facial reconstruction surgery. Maybe that's why he's still hiding. And if that's the case, then there would not need, there would be no need for a surgeon. Holy cow, it's all starting to make sense. Ah, <laughs> oh, I wish I would have waited until I published my video this morning. Kill Watts now. Well, I've already done that. Uh, I just showed that she does not drop a synth component. Um, I killed her on this very broadcast, and she doesn't drop a synth component. Harkness is the only one we can't kill now. How is Pinkerton a synth, says June. Well, the only way Pinkerton could be a synth is if he's the real escaped synth. And Harkness is not. That's the only way. And if he's just been making all of this up. But wait a minute, we've got history on Pinkerton. Here's the problem. We've got history on Pinkerton that we went over in the Wasteland Survival Guide quest. We know his history going back 30 or so years. He's one of the original founders of Rivet City. He was one of the... He, he, along with the father of Seagrave Holmes and the mother of Dana Landers, or, or the other way around, anyway, he, along with them, are the ones who cleared out Rivet City, founded the city, and started the original science lab. He was only pushed out of here when Dr. Lee arrived, wanting to set up her experiments after failing with James to do the Waters of Life. He couldn't have been a synth back then, Otherwise, he would have aged, and we know that synths can't age. So, basically, in short, people would have been able to notice that he hasn't aged in 10 years and put two and two together. So, what if... <clears throat> What if this is a bit more sinister than we thought? What if this synth comes to Rivet City seeking asylum and he goes to... He, like Zimmer, was made by the Institute to look old for whatever reason. Maybe he was in charge of a coarser battalion or something and he wanted to command respect, and so they made him to look like an elderly, wizened guy. But he flees the Institute. He comes to Rivet City seeking asylum. He goes to Rivet City Security, and they say, look, well, there's one thing we can do. We know of this old coot, this old hermit who lives in the broken bow of the ship. No one's going to miss him. If you go into the broken bow of the ship and kill him, you can take his place, and we'll tell everyone that you are really Horace Pinkerton. So the synth that escaped the Institute, the real A221 or whatever, comes to the Broken Bow, kills the real Horace Pinkerton, and takes over his identity. Maybe he is a surgeon and reconstructed his own face, says Socialist Wolf. Possibly. Victoria Watts gave you Harkness's synth component. Says Spooky Logic. 
Corrupted Protectron says you have to make another video about this. Well, yeah, so Victoria Watts does have this other synth component. And we don't know where that came from. That's, that's an interesting point. But... Then we have the one that's on Pinkerton here. So sure, maybe, maybe the railroad killed Harkness in order to be able to say that they hit him and took his synth component, and it just so happens to be exactly the same one that Zimmer was looking for. But then how do we explain the one that's on Pinkerton's body here, which we just discovered? Thank you all for pointing this out to me. That's still a, great, a really great question. Where did Victoria's synth component come from? Just any random synth that she happened to encounter? The reset code function on Harkness. Yeah, that there is that. There is the whole reset code that we have to deal with and the recall code that we have to deal with. Two different codes that appear to work on Harkness, but they appear to work on Harkness. We don't know if they really do work on Harkness. Harkness could be acting. He could be pretending. He could have this whole plan set up with Pinkerton, whereby... Whereby, in order to protect Pinkerton, he pretends to be the synth. And he would be the perfect one to do so. Remember, he's like this awesome veteran battle guy. He's <laughs> a battle guy. He's a battle guy. He's a, he's a soldier. He's in charge of security. This could be their elaborate ruse by which to protect the original synth, Pinkerton, and get an assassin close to Zimmer so that Harkness can kill Zimmer, which would explain why he's not in the Capital Wasteland ten years later. Try pickpocketing him. Okay. This will... That's a great suggestion. This will tell us whether or not a synth component can be pickpocketed. If it can, then that makes everything much more confusing. <laughs> but if it can't, then this goes along with what I was saying earlier. You won't get away with that. Shut up. That's right, my character's stealth is really low. Do I have anything? Oh, I might have the Chinese stealth armor. Stealth boy? Yes. Nope, and it's not there. So you can't pickpocket an, an Android component from an Android who's not dead. We've established that. Can we say that we've established that? Corrupted Protectron says, this would explain why Harkness does that strange yell when you tell him the recall code. That's true. He goes, oh, 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 oh. oh my memories are back. <laughs> Durdiger de -dur 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 with a tip says, I'm watching you at work when I should be doing work. Oh, well, this is more important. This is revolutionary. How, how long has Fallout 3 been, been out? And we're just now realizing these things. Well, we're kind of, we're not. We're not just not realizing them. They're, they've been on the wiki. But we're piecing things together. I am, at least. Pickpocket Watts before the quest? Uh, she doesn't appear before the quest, to my knowledge. I could be wrong. I mean, clearly I, I can be wrong. <laughs> but, um, but I don't believe she appears before the quest. Norway says, do we find any proof that Harkness's memory comes from Vault 112, like they said? No. If you go to Vault 112 and you talk with Braun, I mean, he doesn't even mention this entire situation. All we know about Vault 112 and Braun is what we find in the terminal here in Pinkerton's lab. And in that terminal, he tells us that he stole a mem chip. Also, the entire existence of a mem chip is really strange to begin with, because this is the only this is the only reference to a mem chip mem chip in the entire series. We don't find any mem chips in Tranquility Lane. Um, one of the the things I tried to explore before producing my video yesterday is I, I went to Tranquility Lane to see if I could find any body in one of the pods that looked like he, like Harkness, because then that would explain or not not like Harkness to see if I could find anybody in one of the pods that was unresponsive or dead or, or missing his or her memory. <clears throat> because if so, 
then I could explain where his memory came from. But I didn't. It's almost as if Tranquility Lane doesn't reference this entire quest at all. So, no, there's... The, the Memchep is... It's a really weird thing for Pinkerton to describe. The ultimatum says, do the Replicated Man quest, help Harkness, and then kill him after. Or Sandman kill him. He can't be killed. I'll test it again, but I, I've, I've already showed you that he can't be killed even if you complete the quest in his favor. But I'll show you again. Okay, <clears throat> back to this save. We completed the Replicated Man. We don't need God Mode anymore. Let's see if he's sleeping. <clears throat> Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one, two. Let's wait till two in the morning. Come on. Lana Danvers isn't here. Why did Lana Danvers run? Must be some um, some ghost loaded from uh, from a previous gameplay. Anyway, uh, so there's Lana Danvers. That means that my business. should be. Look out! Why is everybody acting as if I killed someone? I just reloaded an old save. Down the stairwell and into the market. Hello, Harkness, my old friend. Immortal. Where? Steady. Steady. Help. Sharon doesn't care. Everything's goddamn trigger happy these days. You just kidding me? <laughs> he just doesn't care. Yeah, we can't kill Harkness. I completed the quest in his favor. I have his weapon. We can't kill him. Big Boy says, I always learn from your videos. Good job. Thank you, good sir. Joe says, hey, I actually love your videos. You're an amazing storyteller. Your videos really make me realize and appreciate the small de details in the game. Please keep it up. Will do. Gaming met Brandon with a tip. Thank you very much. <clears throat> For those just coming here, we're, we're trying to figure out some weird lore inconsistencies from <clears throat> the uh, uh, vanilla game of Fallout 3. Goddamn trigger happy these days. How about reverse pickpocket him? Well, I think it's going to have the same effect, but we can try that. Do I have any grenades on my inventory? Yep. But this is going to yes. be hard in the middle of the marketplace. Let's use the stealth one.
Harkness is key. Armory key. No synth component. Let's do all my grenades. Hey. <clears throat> no, doesn't work. Am I doing it wrong? Did I just reverse pickpocket him wrong? How do you reverse pick pickpocket a grenade onto their um? There was some sort of battle in the city yesterday. The gate Have a seat anywhere. Someone on for over an hour. That's why I'm glad you won't get away with that. Good old Rivet City. Me too. Nothing <clears throat> is getting through these walls. Why? Oh, there needs to be a landmine. Thank you guys. All right. So grenades don't work. Decided to check out the shop, eh? Thanks for the tip, Gwillo. Appreciate it. No landmine. Doggone it. Harrison says Oxhorn Kate West appears whenever you find the first replicated man holotape in Megaton. Uh, I don't think that's accurate. I found if Kate West in Megaton even without looting the holotapes. Even when I began, when I first began my gameplay on this character, I didn't loot any of those holotapes <laughs> because I knew that I wanted to save them for when I did my video on the replicated man here. Um... I heard that the city council is debating putting railings on the flight deck. Okay. <clears throat> oh, did it crash again? That's what happens when I have way too much going on on my computer here. Okay. Okay, well, the wiki is down, so I can't use a frag mine. Uh, but, yeah, that's not... Yes. Even though it's an interesting yes. experiment, it's not going to change anything because it still just tries to kill him. And he doesn't die. Why can't you use console to kill him? Just knocks him out. I know there's a way to remove his essential status. Let's try. Not sure how to remove essential status. Ah, let's try this. 
set essential 0001db54 zero. Invalid actor base ID. Why can't I set him to how about one? Set essential NPC ID and then the number. Alright, you see I've got him selected. That's his ID. Maybe I need to use a different ID. Okay, let's use a different ID. That's probably his ref ID. I need to find his base ID. Base ID. Okay. So set essential zero 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 one five six double A. Bingo. He should now be able to be killed. Let's wait for him to hop on up. Let's use the console commands to kill him. That did it. So on his inventory, we find an armory key, the Hark Harkness's key, basically everything that we found on his inventory when we were able to pickpocket it, but no Android component. So this goes back to what I was saying earlier, that if it can't be reproduced in the base game without using console commands or hacking or doing some other thing like that, then we can't consider it to be canon because the developers may have done something like this. Knowing that Harkness can never die, they just put on his inventory everything that was necessary for us to be able to pickpocket him. They didn't bother to put the Android component on his inventory because they knew that he would never be killed and no one would ever see it or anything like that. So that's the danger with using um, code that we scrape or to discover during the, uh, through, by using the creation kit or by using console <laughs> commands as canonical lore. We can't do that. We can only use it as canonical lore if uh, we can do it in the base game. So, but that brings up Pinkerton, right? People like you are bad for business. This time you'd better follow the rules. We can kill Pinkerton in the base game. Huh? Dominique says, can Harkness be killed when he has factory reset? Nope, but I'll try it. I... The sooner you find my... Harkness, you say? All right, we just turned in Harkness to Zimmer, and now we have to follow him all the way. Change the title? Yeah, maybe I should change the title of the broadcast. Although, it'll be much more of a surprise when, live, uh, when viewers watch it <laughs> and discover that Pinkerton can be killed. I was right about Harkness, I was right about Victoria, but I was wrong about Pinkerton. What are the ramifications of that? Honestly, it's not that much. All it means is, well, okay. So on one hand, we can say that it's not that much. We can say that, so Pinkerton's a synth. Oh, come so on, what? pay more attention to what you're doing. Maybe Harkness really is a synth and Pinkerton Saint just Monica so happens you. to be a synth. Synths can be surgeons, synths can be technicians. They can do all of the things a human can do. What's So what if he's an android? That doesn't mean that he couldn't have done the things that he did to protect Harkness. The only thing that complicates that is his past history. We know that he has a long history going back 30 some odd years here at Rivet City. And now we have to explain how a man who's been here for 30 some odd years and has clearly aged also has a synth component on his inventory. The other alternative is that he is the real synth. People like you are bad for business. And Harkness really so is putting on a show to try to protect him. There you are. I must say, you had me completely fooled. You're very clever, A3-21, but not clever enough. Now, come with me. I got sold out, eh? Don't think I don't know what's going Pickpocket Pinkerton. I just did that a moment ago, and he doesn't have a synth component on his inventory. What's going on, Zimmer? 
I won't let you get away with anything. What the hell are you up to? You're coming back with me to the Commonwealth. You're a very important android. You're just a bit confused. Your memories have been altered. I'm going nowhere. I want you off this boat. Immediately. I'm done suffering your nonsense. You want to do this the easy way or the hard way? Of course we will be doing things the easy way. I have no intention of harming you. It's time to bid your farewells, Harkness. Zimmer. That's it. You leave me no... Trukin says, wait, does Zimmer's bodyguard drop an android component? Because he's confirmed big an android. He does. I even showed it off in my video this morning. Both of them have Choice, an android Choice, but to use force. A3-21. Initialize factory reset. Authorization code, beta 53 alpha What? Okay, he has been reset. <clears throat> Let's wait for him to stand up. I'm looking Hey, you've left me no Where? choice. Yeah, he can't be killed. I'm, I've, I've done this every which way, uh, but sideways, and he can't be killed. He just can't be killed outside of console commands. Could Pinkerton have been replaced like Roger, Roger Warwick? Uh, yeah. Well, no. I mean, yes, he could. But the problem is that Roger Warwick knew that he was replaced. And that's the, that's the thing. When, it, when a synth is an infiltrator synth, they know that they're an infiltrator. They have a connection back to the Institute, and they have to provide constant reports. From the very beginning, when talking with Pinkerton, um, he helps us. He's very open with wanting to help us, giving us the reset code. He's extremely helpful. And I doubt very much that an infiltrator synth would do that. But it is possible, however, that his mind was wiped by the railroad. He could have been a synth who was rescued by the railroad and, and his mind was wiped and then placed at the bow of the ship. Check Zimmer's body. I, I've already checked his body. I mean, I, fr first of all, I don't think we got him here. Oh, five. Stupid. Get them pinned. Yeah, we didn't kill him. <clears throat> but I'll kill him again. Let's wait for him to complete the quest, and then we'll kill him too. Um, if we can kill him. He may be set to essential. So far, the only ways I've been able to f uh, find to kill Zimmer is if Harkness kills him, or if he gives us permission to kill him. What just happened? Well, I attacked Harkness. So ev everyone in Rivet are. City attacked me because I, I must attacked say, you had me uh, because I attacked fooled. Harkness. You're very clever, A3-21, but not clever enough. Now, come with me. I got sold out, eh? Don't think I don't know what's going on, Zimmer. I won't let you get away with anything. What the hell are you up to? You're coming back with me to the Commonwealth. You're a very important android. You're just a bit confused. Your memories have been altered. I'm going nowhere. I want you off this boat. Hey, buddy. I'm done suffering your nonsense. You want to do this the easy way or the hard way? Of course we will be doing... Thomas says if Harkness isn't a synth, how does he know what happens to a synth when its factory is reset? Um, I speculated, and again, this is all complete speculation, I speculated that if Pinkerton is the real synth, then Pinkerton, Pinkerton could have simply told Harkness how to act. Because we have to remember that the real synth who escaped the Institute was a courser. Not only that, but one of the most advanced coursers having ever been created by the Institute. So he's used recall codes on other synths. And he likely knows about the reset code. So, the scenario is that Pinkerton is the real synth. He arrives at Rivet City seeking asylum. Rivet City guards say, go to the bow of the ship. You can hide there for the rest of your life. We'll pretend that you're not here and we'll remove all suspicion from you. And then Pinkerton says, great. By the way, if anyone comes looking for me, this is what you say if they try to use a recall code on you. And this is what they say if they try to use a reset code on you. So Harkness is pretending this entire time to be a synth as an elaborate ruse to protect Pinkerton, and when confronted by Zimmer, he acts according to plan. This is all just a, way. a performance. I have no intention of harming you. A performance so that when he gets Zimmer outside Harkness. of the city, 
he can assassinate him, Zimmer. which explains That's why it. he's still you leave missing me no choice but to 10 use years force. later in Fallout 4. A3-21, initialize factory reset. Authorization code, beta 53 alpha What? Okay. Oh, android component. He's an android. I mean, there's no getting around it. Even if everything that we've discovered about Pinkerton we didn't discover, the fact remains that Zimmer is still an android. He's still a he's still a synth. And so is Armitage. There's Armitage's android uh, component. <laughs> and we still can't uh, loot uh, Harkness. Okay, it's already 4 o'clock and I still got to make my video for tomorrow. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for coming to this impromptu broadcast. Uh, I learned something, but I also hope that I was able to demonstrate uh, many of the things that I tried to lay out in my video earlier this morning. Zimmer is indeed a synth. The only thing that we've now discovered is that Pinkerton was a synth as well, which unlocks an entire subplot that might be true, which is something to think about. Even cracking open an old game like Fallout 3, we, un we uncover so many mysteries. It's such a lot of fun. All right. What if Zimmer was just holding a component? Well, we tried pickpocketing him earlier, and there was no component on his inf pardon me, inventory. The component only appears once he's dead. If the component only appears once we kill him, it had to come from within his body. Otherwise, we would have found it in a pocket, as I showed off previously in the stream. Got to go, ladies and gentlemen. I got to get a video ready for, uh, ready for you tomorrow. It's going to be the final one in the Rivet City series. Thank you so much for joining me on this quick impromptu stream. It was a whole lot of fun. And I will see you tomorrow morning, bright and early, with a brand new episode.